Hello and welcome to Taximo. In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily and seamlessly integrate um, Taximo's payment service provider Stripe onto your website. So what I'm going to do is log in to my recently created account and go to the integrate option. From there I'm going to go straight to the documentation and the integration guide for Stripe where I will be able to grab the HTML source code for my button. Uh, this uh, code contains the various attributes that Taximo uses um, to, to um, determine the various price, product types, etc, uh, etc, et payment service provider. So now that I've copied that, I'm going to put that uh, straight onto the HTML page of my test site. Here's my demo site with uh, three test products. So to the HTML for that particular section, I will add the buttons here. And just to break that down so it's easier to read. Copy it here and here. Okay. So now I've added that, I just need to save it and upload it to the server. And if I go back to my test site, I can refresh the page and you can see that the buttons have now been added. The buttons currently aren't working. So I need to go back to Taximo. dashboard and go to my payment service providers. So here we have Stripe. Um, if you haven't connected already, you need to select the button to connect or if you need to reconnect, uh, you go on that button and it will take you here where you can sign up for an account if you don't have one. Uh, it just takes a minute or two to do. And once you've signed up, you've created your Stripe account, you will be also authorizing Taximo access to that at the same time. If you do have an account, just click here and you can then authorize Stripe access to your Taximo. Okay, so get that done. So now we're back. Uh, you can see our status is connected in test mode. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go to the JavaScript API, which I'm going to be adding to the HTML page or HTML code. Uh, the next thing you can you need to be aware of is the domain name that you're going to be using this code on. If it's not part of your email, then you would need to add it here manually. Okay, um, so putting this onto the HTML source, I'm going to put it just before the end body tag. Okay, uh, if you have um, multiple pages, then feel free to add this to the header or the footer, uh, whichever is common to all the pages that will be using the code. So I need to save this and upload it to the server, like so. And when I go back to my test site, refresh the page, I should see that Taximo uh, has picked that up and we are, it has detected our VAT country of residence as Ireland. Buttons should also start working and you can see the checkout now powered by Stripe is, is working for all, all the buttons. So before I do um, a, a test transaction, uh, I just go back to the HTML. I want to show you um, that you're not limited to the button or span classes in the tags. You can in fact uh, change those. Uh, to whichever styling you want or whatever tags that you want to use. Um, I have my tags already styled here. Um, you can see the way the, the button is there uh, and the price is not being scanned. So let's change that. And if I add this here, just so you can easily read it. So the list class here is price, uh, that's changed from my price, and that allows Taximo to scan the actual price. Uh, the item description, you can put in uh, whatever this description is, 
in this case it's a physical product uh, and we leave the tax or mode type at default as the full tax rate will apply for this one and the currency here is US dollar I'm going to change that to euro um, again you have your actual price value that will be displayed on the page um, here we have the button I've applied that to an A class rather than a button tag uh, we've got a payment service provider we have the price again uh, we have the item uh, physical product just change that and again leaving the product type as default and my buy now button so if I save that go back to the server upload it and my test site I can refresh the page and you can see now that Taxmo has scanned the price uh, showing the tax rate and the buy now button takes you straight into the checkout um, other things I'll show you are let me just apply the same styling to my other buttons okay so for my ebook product I will change this to ebooks or ebook again same here on the button tag item description and the rest remains the same for my e-service just make a note of that there Taximo will pick this up and then it will add it to your your uh, your dashboard automatically um, we can change the currencies as well you've got US dollar here but we could have GBP must ensure that the list class price as well has the same currency code so saving that I am now going to upload it to the server and refresh the page so we have the various products I'll now do some test transactions enter my test card number pay now and once the transaction is completed successfully I'll do the ebook pay now this is for Great British Pounds and transaction has completed successfully so now we've done that let's go back to our dashboard where we can see our recent transactions so in the transactions tab we have uh, the two transactions I've just made uh, we look into this one you can see the order date uh, the tax country the IP address bin number uh, the currency used the tax rate apply applied uh, and the tax amount as well the location of evidence uh, we have Ireland Ireland invoice data additional info shows us it was an ebook uh, the customer's email address and the payment service provider details so there you have it uh, I think I have covered most of uh, it there if you do have any other questions you can always email us at support at taxmo.com or you can use the uh, chat option from your dashboard and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much for watching and happy testing.